it's experiencing life that does it. You know, I don't think there's one specific thing you could learn about a camera, but that's not it. It's just experiencing and connecting to what's around you. I mean, I've, you know, as I've always painted or drawn pictures or taken still photographs, and yeah, now I shoot movies. It's just about making images, really. When I was a kid growing up, a teenager, that's why I love movies. They posed questions to me. They searched into subjects like, I say, Peter Watkins' War Game, or he did a film called Culloden. Okay, it wasn't a contemporary film. Obviously, it was about the Battle of Culloden, right? And just stylistically, it was amazing because it's a period piece and he's got modern day journalists on the battlefield in Scotland talking to camera and telling you what's going on. I mean, just as a stylistic, piece of filmmaking, but that was what I was brought up with and that's what attracted me to, to, to film and that's probably why I started wanting to be involved in documentaries, you know, in the first place. I always thought when I was doing documentaries, I thought if you could just show people what it would be like to be their neighbour, you know, show one person what it was like to be that other person, the world would be such a better place. You know, I think they all influence you, even if it's not conscious when you're doing something. I rarely kind of think of another movie when I'm doing something, but I'll, I'll sometimes watch things. A lot of the films that was I, I grew up with and I kind of watch them now, they're like sort of old friends that you've shared your life with, really. I think they don't influence me so much in their visual style. It's the, the kind of mood they have, you know, the kind of emotional connection I have them with. I don't think I have a style. I've discovered ways of lighting that sort of work for me, you know. Like, I look at this lighting, it's great, but I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? I'd do it a different way, but that's all personal. But that's not really a style. I don't think I have a naturalistic style. I, I, I hope I have a style that suits the, the project that I'm on. I mean, I walk on a film set on a new movie and I think I've, it feels like I've never done it before, like I'm learning, you know, so I, I don't think I've got a style. Any, any way a film looks is a product of the prep on that look, on that film and how that sort of developed as we've gone along. For instance, there's a scene in Prisoners, right, where uh, Hugh Jackman's character is stuck in a hole, right? It's a hole with a piece of wood over the top, you know. So how do you light that? How do you shoot sequences with that? So Danny and I were talking about it. He said, he said what if he's got a cigarette lighter? Great, okay. Now, if that had been film, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even gone there. But no, I mean, we basically shot this scene with a cigarette lighter. <laughs> it was great. You know, I mean, it's simply as that. It's about taking those kind of risks that you can do. It would have been hard to do that on film, I think, you know. I don't think the fact the camera's digital now really, that's what I said before, I don't think it really has changed the way I work that much. I mean, I remember on Jarhead running around with a Arri 2C and a battery pack around my belt and, you know, 200-foot magazine shooting battle sequences running around. That's a pretty heavy camera and it's pretty hard to do it, you know. And now, well, it's obviously with the M camera and that's just everything is so much smaller and lighter and so much easier to, uh, to do that kind of work with, you know. So that's, that's, that's a big change. But, you know, it's only a change to the effect it has on my back. It doesn't make me shoot it in a different way. You know what I mean? It's just the equipment's made it a bit easier. For me personally, there's still so many things I want to do. And every project is exciting in a different way, a different challenge, you know. It's my personal sensibility, the way I see the world. I feel something, a film's got something to say. And this, yeah, you know, why does anything, you know, attract your attention or make you feel anything, you know. It's so much about the movement of the camera and the composition. You know, you want to be open to the sort of little things that happen on a set. You can't be if you've got to communicate with an operator, which you can't do when they're shooting a shot. So if in the middle of the shot something's happening and you want to just think, oh, I just if I take the frame over that way a bit, that'll do blah, blah, blah. And the way I work with my dolly grip is that I can just, I'll be on the camera and I'll just go like that. So we could just alter the frame or, you know. 
So it's that connection with the camera, and it's good now. Cameras are getting lighter and lighter, so I reckon I could be like in my 90s and still doing it handheld and whatever I want, really, couldn't I?